Jimmy. Yes. Jimmy it. has been working. He's been talking about it. Yeah. You know, the air is starting to have more of a chill. Starting to think yeah. about going Fall inside. Weather. Starting today, mm -hmm. yeah. You might have been worrying about finishing up some work around the house. So, Jim, you've been doing some home renovations. I keep going back to your bathroom yes. because I just want to pack a bag and move into your house. Two bathrooms, one bedroom so far. You've wow. been busy. It's been a lot of work. How's it, it, how's it been going, by the way? Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. The good news, by the way, guys, since we're talking about this, yeah. there are plenty of home fixes that you can do hmm. under two hours. Really? Unfortunately, my take about eight or nine hours, uh, which is helpful if you're still working from home or if you have some free time uh, during the weekend. Perhaps you spent the summer sprucing up your outdoor space and want a break. Not so fast. The experts at Consumer Reports have a few fast fall chores you can tackle inside your home. As the weather starts to get a little bit cooler, it's a good time to pay some attention to those indoor projects you may have been neglecting. The good news is a lot of them are easy to tackle yourself. Check the water hoses on the back of your washer. These should be replaced every five years. If they look brittle, buy braided stainless steel version and swap them out. And once a year, deep clean your dryer by cleaning out the air duct and port in the back with a vacuum and a brush made for dryer ducts. Cleaning the lint out of your dryer can actually help the appliance run more efficiently and dry better. And cleaning the ductwork in particular can help prevent a dryer fire. Deal with doors. Check those loose hinges and tighten the screws on any that are loose. If the screws are just spinning in their holes, remove the screws and try this contractor tip. Coat two or three toothpicks with wood glue, then push them back in the screw hole. You can break off the ends that stick out, allow the toothpicks to dry, then fasten your screws back in again. Spruce up your shower. A clogged shower head is most likely a result of hard water mineral buildup. To declog and shine, remove the shower head and let it sit in a bowl of distilled vinegar for an hour. Then wipe it clean with a sponge. For grimy grout and caulk, try using a bleach pen. Then apply it along the grout and caulk line. Rub it in with the tip of the pen, then rinse or wipe clean. If you find that bleach doesn't get out all the stubborn stains from your bathroom, it may be time to re-caulk or even re-grout between the tiles. Caulking is an easy job you can do yourself in an hour or two, while re-grouting between tiles is usually a tough job best left to the pros. Jim, did you interview him in Olytic? Yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah, that's oh, uh, that was uh, yeah. We it was Great a toss-up between there and Greenfield, okay. but we well, ended up shooting analytic. that analytic. All right, if you have time and you want to get the whole family involved, clean your windows. Consumer Report says to be sure check your window manufacturer's website for the cleaning instructions first. Seems pretty obvious, but tests have found that some windows stain and streak if the wrong type of cleaner is used. That can include some ammonia-based formulas and even some Windex products. Mm. Did you know that? You I, thought you could just spray whatever on your windows. I just used Dawn and water. Okay, that's Seems a good to work idea. Okay. All right.